hey everyone welcome to episode of the react design patterns and in today's video we are going to discuss about react render props pattern so without wasting any time let's get started so um, let us understand what is this uh, render props pattern so uh, render props pattern is a pattern in which a prop in a component uh, which is a function and that returns a jsx right so uh, i'll elaborate a little more so a render props uh, pattern is a pattern uh, of react where a particular prop in a component right the prop itself is a function right that returns a jsx element right so this uh, consider it like uh, you know you are passing jsx right uh, directly as a props into a component so when we write the code we'll see how exactly do we uh, structure a component uh, that can support a render props and so a, a correction in this uh, when to use it uh, render props actually yeah so when to use render props so we, there are two scenarios where we want to use render props the first one is when we want to make the component customizable and the second is provide the ability to theme the component according to their design system so i'll explain you what this is uh, so let's suppose uh, you have a component right and uh, in that particular component you are passing uh, a icon as a props now consider a scenario where a use case comes where now uh, you know the, uh, the uh, designer or the coder wants some another icon on some another page right so your uh, your component should be actually uh, customizable to support any kind of icon that the developer is passing into or consider a scenario where you are creating a component that just uh, renders a heading now the component should be customizable enough so that i can pass my own design system by design system i mean that there uh, like if you work on a production uh, production environment or in a, a, a company so they have their own design system okay they uh, they uh, they do not you generally use the existing design system libraries uh, such that a material ui a bootstrap and other they have created their own design system okay they have their own ui library uh, for their particular product okay now uh, the if you create a component uh, in a company saying that this is a component that can actually uh, display title okay and now you want to use that component across multiple pages now the page one wants to render the component in a way uh, that is bold and uh, the page two wants to render the uh, title component in a way uh, it is italics and the third page in some other uh, fashion right so your component in all these scenarios should be customizable so that it is very easy for a developer to actually you know customize uh, things so the moment i pass uh, the text with uh, bold tags around it uh, the the text should become bold the moment i pass the text along with the italics tag it should become italics right so you should customize a component in a way that uh, you are rendering actually uh, the jsx uh, in that particular component okay it is now up to the developer now which kind of jsx they want to pass to and the, in this whole fashion the uh, component becomes very customizable right so enough of talking now let's see uh, the uh, render props pattern in action so let's uh, dive into the code okay so we are here at the code uh, sandbox.io and we are going to actually uh, implement the render props pattern so i'll uh, discuss the scenario with you so let us suppose we have a input text okay and that input text actually uh, you know takes the input value now below that input text i want to uh, you know uh, do something uh, with the value entered okay so consider it like an input component uh, taking a value 
and just below the input component uh, you are displaying uh, some value after computations for example if i add uh, if i enter some number 10 now there comes a scenario where i want to uh, return uh, some uh, the value plus 10 right there comes a scenario where i want to write uh, the value multiplied by 2 there comes uh, there can be a scenario where i just want to directly print the uh, print whatever value the user has uh, written right there can be n number of scenarios in this situation now we have to make this input component uh, customizable so that it is very easy for the developer to change that input text below right to whatever need they have according to their demands right so let's uh, uh, write that component so first of all i'll create one file a component actually uh, that is uh, input dot js okay and this input dot js is just like any other ordinary input component for now and we'll discuss how we can uh, you know introduce that render uh, feature in this but before that let us create the basic uh, input component and then uh, see how this render prop is working so i'll uh, create a cons input equals to and this is gonna take the props and this is the one and we are going to return a fragment okay this is the fragment over here and i am creating an input okay input and the value is something and on change something and we close it here we write const uh, so we actually want to you know uh, get the input value right so we'll create a user state for this uh, const value set value user state and initially the value is null uh, oh this should be upwards create a function const handle change this is going to take uh, the event and this is going to call set value event dot target value right and we are going to call this function on change over here and we are going to call this value over here and we are going to export export default put and let's put import input from dot slash put and let's render this input right away over here right so we have a input text over here and we are typing some values perfect now um right now here comes the part now uh over here i want to actually display um the uh, you know I want to actually display the value that is uh, being written and let's uh, take the another scenario where we want to uh, you know uh, multiply the value by 10 and display it okay we'll not add any uh, you know uh, validation checks and all uh, just we want to understand the how the render prop uh, method is actually working so I'll uh, tell you how so this props right so when we are gonna introduce a prop over here and I am gonna say render text below. Okay. Below. And this is on this is gonna be a function, right? Or if uh right, this is gonna be a function that's gonna take a value. And we are actually going to return a JSX thing, the value is and we'll write the value right and what we are going to do is we are going to take this prop and just over here right just over here i am going to do props dot render text below and i'm going to pass the value and let's add a break line correct this is and the value is a uh, value or uh welcome to js cafe right so this was one use case 
now comes the another use case you know where uh, we want to we want the user to enter some uh, input value uh, like the numbers and now we want to actually multiply the value to 10 so what we'll do is we'll come over here i'll just you know copy everything as it is and let's fix the alignments first and in this one uh, i'm gonna say uh, the multi applied value is value cross 10 okay and let us save and let's add some break lines right so 10 so 10 times 10 becomes 100 11 becomes 110 and the moment i change this so this is changed right and we can actually do uh like this this thing right this thing is actually having all these functions written over here uh this is not actually uh, you know a production uh ready code so to just improve the this this structure right we can create function right const uh show value okay this is gonna take the value and this is going to return something like this okay and we are gonna pass the value over here the value is the value whatever it is and similarly we are go going to create a function const uh multiply multiply by 10 this is gonna again take the value and this is going to return this so i take it and we pass the value over here right so this is what render props is now see how easy it became for us to change whatever text we have in this right uh, now uh, here comes the part right now it suppose uh, someone comes to you and asks uh, to you know we want some modification in this html this is not looking good on the website i want the text to be bold so you don't have to worry about changing things inside the input component right because what it is doing is it is just uh, you know accepting the values uh, accepting the input value updating the state and whatever is this uh, props you know rendering this is all you have to worry about right so there if if your uh, like team comes with a ask saying that we want to change the text to bold so you don't you don't actually make changes inside the component you rather go to the dumb component or or the presentational component right this is this is a presentational component right because we are taking the value and we are just presenting the value uh, on the screen right this is a presentational component now if the manager comes to you and asks that hey i want to change this value to bold this is not looking good at all right and so what you have to do you just need to change this right you don't have to worry what this input is doing on you don't have to mess up the codes right so this actually can uh you know save your project from running into bugs right so i have seen people often changing the main component and uh, they uh, often uh, end up you know uh, creating some bugs so this approach is actually very usable you can pass whatever jsx you want and this is gonna save a lot of bugs uh, from your code and this actually helps you make the component customizable because now we are able to pass as many jsx component whatever thing we want even if the, in future we want to render any image below it it is completely doable because of this render text below prop right so this was this was the power of uh uh, the render props pattern and this is very uh, you know scalable and customizable and whenever you are uh, like uh, going to create a component in any of your uh, system design uh, interviews do make sure that you uh, you know uh, talk about this render props pattern and make sure that uh, whatever you know the ui element you are displaying in your component is actually customizable because uh, with the help of this render props pattern so
yeah this was all in this video and uh, before uh, you uh, uh, jump off to another video of this channel uh, the the like target of this video is 50 likes and if you see that the video is having likes less than 50 then go ahead and smash that like button and do subscribe to js cafe if you have uh, uh, came so far on this video and I uh, am going to create more uh, videos on this series. Uh, wait, more videos are coming. And yeah, happy to take up any questions. If you have any questions, then do let me know in the comments. Happy to take them. And uh, yeah, this was all in this video. Till then, take care. Goodbye. See you in the next one.